Welcome. Today we're looking at the Ian Fritz Wavealver 2 module in Eurorack format. And we've got it connected to the ARP 2600. Uh, the triangle output of VCO2 is connected to the input of the Wavealver 2 module. And the output is connected directly into the VCA of the ARP 2600. So that's our audio path. In addition to that, we've got this uh, Ian Fritz dual teaser module with two oscillators, and they are both running as LFOs, and they're modulating these inputs, and we'll see exactly what that is in a minute. Uh, but first, let's jump back and listen to the triangle. The first thing that you need to know about this module is that there are two pulses. And the easiest way to see that is to change this output level of the second pulse from negative to positive. The other thing to notice is that the pulse width as we change that, we'll make this triangle wave turn into a, a square wave. And at its extremes, we morph from a triangle to a pulse to nothing at all because the pulse width is so thin. And of course we can do that from the modulation input. The second control that I want to focus on is this offset, and it's nothing but a DC offset. You can see the triangle moving up and down, and you'll notice that there's no audible change because this is just a DC change, a direct current. However, if you add the pulse, this is going to change the pulse width effectively. So we could bring in the LFO and it looks pretty cool and sounds like a nice uh, pulse width modulation but with a variable mix of pulse width and triangle. Let's take that modulation off and see what happens when we go from negative pulse to output to positive and we just go up an octave. So not only do you have the uh, spectral change as you uh, change from a triangle to a pulse, you also have an octave change as you change this value. Of course, it's not under voltage control, but it's there. So that, that's all the controls except for this one. This is the fold output. The fold output gets mixed in with the uh, triangle. And it's 
under the control of this pulse width control, so we can do that. With our modulation input. As you can hear, the um, modulations can go well into the audio range. So that's the video. Um, Ian Fritz, by the way, has a great uh, basic demo of this module um, that uh, covers uh, the, the basic functionality. Um, I was focused more on the uh, timbre changes in this video. And if you like the video, please click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.